beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then we read where God created everything. And God said, let us make man after our image and our life likeness. And God breathed into the man the breath of life and man became a living being. Our great grandparents and our forefathers used to believe this because if you visit the very oldest of cemeteries, you'll realize that written onto the epitaphs are sentences that express faith, a desire and a hope in the future of being woken up from the grave to meet our maker. Now today that's not so popular. With rising secularism, we're told a different story. The story that we are told is that we evolved by happenstance over billions of years, that there was no first cause, no higher intelligence, that we are not the product of design. And so we are left with two polarizing messages. One that there is an almighty creator, designer, loving God. And another that there is no purpose, no future, no hope. We have descended from the apes. And when this solar system implodes on itself, we'll be gone. There is no hope. But our great grandparents and those that preceded us believed in a faith oriented message that we are not the highest form of intelligence, that there is a great God who reveals himself as Jesus Christ. So what do you believe in today? Because this generation is being taught secularism, atheism, that there is no hope, that there is no God, there is no purpose, there is no design. But if you look at the created order, you will see design. You will see interrelationships. And the human body and the human mind the created order's testimony to some higher design, a higher purpose, and a higher reality. And so if you go to the very oldest of cemeteries and you see, see your great-grandmother's epitaph where she says, when Jesus calls, I will rise. That must mean something to you. It must mean something to us. Because God tells us that there is a time of resurrection. Jesus said, don't be amazed at this. For the time is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and come forth. Those who have done good to resurrection of life and those who have done evil to a resurrection of judgment. So if you're an agnostic or you're listening to this cacophony of sound of society around you and you don't know what to believe, I'd like to leave you with a challenge. Whether you believe in prayer or not, it doesn't matter. Put it to the test. Put God to the test because God says, if you seek me with all your heart, you'll find me. Find a private place. Don't tell your friends about it and go and pray. And all you do is say, God, if you exist, show me that you exist through your will and purpose and time. And then get up from that and live your life. And you will find more incredible answers than you could ever imagine. Let me tell you, there is a God, there is a purpose to life, and we are created the center pinnacle of that creation. Scripture tells us of the day of resurrection, when those who sleep in silent graves will awaken, that all of creation yearns and longs for the revealing of the sons of God. Those who have lived their lives with the Holy Spirit, a gift from God imparting spiritual understanding, will one day hear their names called out by Jesus Christ and they will see their Creator face to face. It gives extraordinary hope and meaning for human life. Without that, we're nothing. There is no purpose, there is no meaning. So I leave the challenge with you. Ask and you will find. Knock and it will be given to you. Simply step out in faith and believe that there is a great Creator God. On behalf of Message Week Ministries, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm John Classic.